In the video posted right before this one, or linked in the YouTube description, you see a discussion on conic sections. And in that, you see a discussion on degenerate conic sections. Well, what we have here is an equation of a conic section in its general form that looks like it's going to be a hyperbola. But let's see what happens when we start to investigate it. So I'm going to try to rewrite it in one of its standard forms um, by completing the square a couple times. So I'm going to get the x's and y's together and go on and send that 231 to the other side. Well, let's factor out a 25 here from the x term so that we can easily complete the square. And let's see, we'll have to factor out a minus 16 from the y. So I get a y squared, and let's see, that's going to be a plus 8y. All right, let's complete the square a couple times and see what happens. In that first set of parentheses, we'll have to add a 1. But that was really adding a 1 times 25. And then over here, we'll be adding a 16, but that's really taking away a 16 times a 16. So let's see, over here I have 231 plus 25 minus 256. Well, that's 256 minus 256 is 0. So as I start to work with this, I realize that I don't think I'm going to have very much luck getting this side to equal 1 while this side equals something that looks like the standard form of a hyperbola. And so I'm going to think about adding 16 times y plus 4l squared to both sides, which would just write it over there as equal to this. And I've reversed the order of that equation because I feel like it. I'm going to divide both sides by 16. Get a little ahead of myself there. And now I'm going to solve for y. I'm going to get y by itself. So I'm going to take the square root of both sides. So that's going to give me a plus or minus 5 fourths times x minus 1. And I realize what I have here are the equations of two lines. And all we'd have to do is distribute and combine like terms, distribute again, combine like terms. But what we have there is a pair of crisscross lines, one with positive slope, one with negative slope, here written down in their point slope form. And that was one of our degenerate conic sections.